Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git, Web and general improvements of Eclipse 202009. Improvements that have been added since the last release in June three months ago. Java 15 support is not yet built in. Due to the Java 15 release date being only one day before the release of Eclipse 202009. But you can install the current preview of the Java 15 support via the Eclipse Marketplace. Let's have a look at the improvements that are built in. In the Java editor, the Content Assist shows additional matches, in addition to the prefix matches as before, for types, substring and subwords. When concatenating strings, there is a new quick fix, Control 1, to use string format instead. By the way, in the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java developers, there was a bug that has been fixed now. Here, of is displayed correctly as first proposal, not as copy of anymore. Another new quick fix available at method references pointing to method that is missing creates the missing method. This quick fix is offered for simple, non-ambiguous cases like this one, to create a missing method in the current class. Assuming that some code minings are activated for the Java editor, showing them can be toggled via Find Actions, Control 3 now. In the Cleanups dialog, there is a new tab. Optimization containing the Use Lazy Logical Operator option, introduced in the previous release in the Code Style tab, and the new Precompiled Reused Regular Expressions option. When the same string is used more than once as a regular expression, your code will be optimized for better performance by explicitly compiling the regular expression string only once, instead of implicitly compiling it every time you use it. Another new code cleanup can be found in the Unnecessary Code tab at the bottom. Use objects equals in the equals method implementation. This eliminates boilerplate code that can be replaced with the object equals method that has existed since Java 7. In the JUnit view, the right-click menu contains now, in addition to expand all, its counterpart, collapse all. The order in which the tests are displayed can now be chosen in the view menu in the new sort by submenu. By default, the tests are displayed by execution order. Name means sorted alphabetically and execution time might be helpful when you want to know where most of the time is spent. In Java launch configurations and Java-based launch configurations like JUnit, in the Arguments tab, there is a new checkbox for helpful null pointer exceptions messages, which is enabled by default, but requires Java 14 or higher. With that, a null pointer exception will not only indicate the line, but also what was null. When debugging, in the variables view, and the non-column mode, when showing type names, the actual types are now shown instead of the declared types. Expressions with anonymous class instances can now be inspected, displayed, and executed. In the past, an error was displayed in such cases, but now this is working fine. 
In addition to these Java-specific improvements, there are several general platform improvements that might be useful to you, independent of which language you code in. Navigating to the last edit location has been extended to previous edit location, by the possibility to go back not only to the last, but to all the previous edit locations. Hit the old shortcut Ctrl-Q or the new shortcut Ctrl-Alt-Left once or several times. When you've hit it too often, hit Ctrl, Alt and Right to go to the next edit location. So, Alt plus left or right is the well-known way to travel through the history of locations visited and Ctrl, Alt, left or right is the new way to travel through the history of locations edited only. That's a nice new feature, isn't it? In Windows, the character of a line after a null byte is lost on copy and paste. Even worse in Linux, the characters of a line after a null byte are not displayed at all in the console view. To avoid this, make sure that in the Preferences, Run Debug, Console, the checkbox Interpret ASCII Control Characters is ticked. So in the console view, null bytes are filtered out. The font used in trees and tables can now be changed. In the Preferences, General, Appearance, Colors and Fonts, in View and Editor Folders, choose for tree and table font for views a different font size or and a completely different font. Another UI improvement is the improved light theme. In Windows, the light theme has been polished. For instance, it's clearer now which inactive tab is on top and which tabs are in the background. In Linux, there are more noticeable changes that align the light theme better with the default GTK3 theme. The dark theme has been improved as well. Let's switch to the dark theme to see the improvements. In the Preferences, General, Appearance, a notification popped up in the bottom right tells you to restart Eclipse to see the full effect. So let's do this by clicking on the provided link. The start time has been reduced again. With each release Eclipse becomes faster on startup and on other things. Is that not reason enough to update? The tab, where the focus is, is now easier to recognize with a blue bottom line. In Windows, the menus, main menus and right-click menus are dark now. The drop-down handles have become darker on Windows too. The selection highlighting in tables has been fixed in Windows, as you can see for instance in the Content Assist or in the Quick Switch Editor dialog. In Git, in the Git staging view, the behavior introduced in the last version, showing the push dialog on every commit and push, was disliked by many. So the old behavior of not showing the push dialog on commit and push has been restored. If you prefer to double check what you push before you push it, re-enable the dialog in the preferences. Team, Git, Confirmations and Warnings by ticking the checkbox Always show push wizard for commit and push. You no longer need to have Node.js installed on your system to have JavaScript support and support for other common web languages, formats and frameworks. Node.js is required to run the language servers that are implemented in JavaScript or, to be more precise, written in TypeScript compiled to JavaScript. But since Node.js is embedded now, you do not need to know about these implementation details anymore. JavaScript support is powered by the embedded TypeScript JavaScript language server taken from Visual Studio Code. 
And since it has been updated from version 3.8.2 to 3.9.7, you get these Visual Studio Code improvements in Eclipse. For example, when using the code action extract function, empty lines will be preserved now. In rare cases, it might happen that the JavaScript file is opened with a plain text editor without JavaScript support. In such a case, right-click the file and choose Open with the generic text editor for all JavaScript files. The detection of to-do and other task tags in JavaScript files is back. It was missing in the previous release after it got lost by the switch to the language server based on JavaScript support. Enable it in the project property or in the workspace settings by ticking the checkbox for searching for task tags and the checkbox for the scanner for JavaScript files. You can now add syntax highlighting themes used in the generic text editor for JavaScript and other formats. In the Preferences, TextMate, Theme, click Add and choose the theme CSS file to add. In the editor, in the right-click menu, switch to the Added theme. Starting with this release, Java 11 or higher is required to run Eclipse. You can still code in Java 8, 7 or even older Java versions and have multiple versions of Java installed, but running Eclipse with Java 8 will not work anymore. At least a Java 11 VM is required to run Eclipse now. However, no Java is needed at all for the Eclipse installer and the three Eclipse IDE packages that have Java embedded now. The Eclipse IDE for C, C++ developers, the Eclipse IDE for Web and JavaScript developers, and the Eclipse IDE for Rust developers. For the other IDE packages, once installed, you can install an embedded Java from the update site of this release. or from the update site of JustJ, the new Eclipse project that provides embedded Java VMs for Eclipse. Currently, hotspot Java 11 and 14 VMs in different sizes. Use a complete JRE with the full system library, not one of the smaller ones as they might not be enough to run the Eclipse you have or the additional plugins you have or will install. And finally, there is no Confirm on Exit dialog by default anymore. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release September 2020. If you've missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!